Hi guys, welcome back to another Scout the Defender YouTube video. You'll notice Scout is now back up on the driveway and that's because it has now been fixed. So in this video, I'll tell you all about what went wrong with Scout, how it's fixed and also what I've got planned for the channel now that I've got Scout back and I can start making videos all over again. So let's get into it. Right, so before I jump into it and explain all as to where Scout was, what the problem was, I've had a few other mishaps uh, since I've been kind of away from YouTube for a couple of weeks. The first one is I managed to snap off the wing mirror arm. I was at um, a wedding a few weeks ago and drove through the gates of this beautiful house and didn't realize that the gates were pretty tight. Managed to snap the wing mirror straight off. So I've been out here today fitting the new one. It's not the most exciting content, so I didn't think uh, it was worth filming. The other thing I did in that incident, which is more frustrating, is I managed to snap off, if you see down here, I managed to snap off part of the mud spat that I fitted um, a little while ago. That's slightly more frustrating because rather than the wing mirror arms, they're really easy and cheap to get hold of. The uh, mud spats are still relatively easy to get hold of, but they come unpainted. And it meant that last time I fitted these, if you've seen the video, I had to spray them, lacquer them, and then fit them up. And they're, um, they go through the body of the car or the body of the mud, um, the arches with uh, rivets so i'm gonna have to drill the rivets out and fit the new one which is really annoying so i'm gonna probably put that off and just deal with that cracked mud spat for a little while but i just thought i'd give you that update of some of the things or the mishaps that have been happening whilst i've been um away from youtube i thought i'd jump in scout because it's a lot warmer in here than it is out there whilst i'm going to be standing still and explaining um the story of where i've been over the last few weeks um annoyingly i had made kind of this promise that i was going to continue to release videos more and more frequently. I was loving making them and I was really enjoying kind of uploading to YouTube and I could see the momentum of the channel picking up. Um, as with all things, especially Defenders, they're unpredictable. I've had my fair share of um, issues, I think, this these kind of last 12 months with Scout first being the head gasket blowing and now um, effectively not being able to get it into gear. But I'll explain kind of all of, of the, uh, what's been going on. So in my last video, you'll have seen that Scout was effectively stranded. Um, I couldn't, I was reversing it off my driveway when I couldn't actually get the Defender into gear, which is really frustrating. And thank you for all of those that left comments suggesting what it could be. Um, thankfully, I managed to get it booked in at a garage relatively quickly. And shout out to Harvey or Peak District 4x4. He sent me a recommendation for the guys at um, Jim Hallam. Uh, Rob there was able to squeeze me in and get the Defender looked at and diagnosed really quickly. Um, as a few of you had suggested in the comments, it was the clutch that had just given up. I'm not sure whether it has had a clutch previously, but the car is now on about 100,000, just over 100,000 miles. So if it hadn't had one, it was probably due one. And unfortunately it chose to go at perhaps the worst time as I was racing uh, on my way to try and get to a stag do. But anyway, um, yeah, it needed the clutch doing and thankfully uh, Rob was able to, to fit it in. I think I may have said in a previous video that I'd got some kind of noises and sounds from um, from the Defender before and I couldn't really locate what they were. It was kind of a subtle uh, like mechanical jangling noise when I'd pull off. Uh, it turns out that that was obviously a sign that the clutch was um, on its way out. Unfortunately, I, I didn't really realise. I wasn't sure whether it was some sort of um, bearing at the front. Um, but yeah, it, it explains now why it was making that noise. Uh, Frustratingly, I just had it serviced about two weeks before that where I flagged to the garage about this sound. They couldn't replicate it. So I probably could have avoided a lot of the problems I did have if those guys had managed to pick it up. But let's forget about that for a minute. So Rob took effectively an hour or so to look over the car and realise, yep, it was definitely the gearbox. Uh, sorry, the clutch. So dropped the gearbox, realised that, yeah, the clutch had worn out. Um, and at the same time, the spigot bearing had also effectively collapsed. That took a little bit longer to get hold of that part, so it took a little bit longer to get the Scout back. But thankfully, those guys were able to turn the car around relatively quickly, um, and it meant that I could get Scout back on the road. The only problem is, obviously, it's quite an expensive job to have uh, or to get done. Parts alone are relatively expensive, and then at the same time, you have labour costs on top of that. It's not, um, it's not the quickest of jobs. A few of you guys in the comments had also suggested options for upgrading the clutch. I did uh, have a look at those and I was really interested by uh, some of the kit from the guys at Loth. Um, but I did decide in the end just to go with the genuine clutch. That's what uh, Rob had fitted before. If that one had lasted, you know, 100k miles, then hopefully 
uh, a genuine one would do the same again. So I opted to go for the genuine clutch. Um, although I have no doubt that the loft clutches are, are brilliant. I've just gone for the genuine clutch. Um, in terms of cost, obviously pretty expensive job to do. I think parts were about 400 and then labor was um, the rest. It was about just over a grand in total, which obviously isn't a bill that I was expecting, um, but I'm glad it's kind of done. It's another thing ticked off, but it does mean that kind of this year alone, we've had a head gasket go and a clutch go, which uh, isn't ideal. And unfortunately they're not things that I can do myself. I love kind of tinkering on scout and learning, but um, they're not things that I'm able to do. I can't just drop a gearbox and I don't have the space to do that, even if I knew what I was doing. Um, so unfortunately had to kind of suck it up and pay those bills but it does mean that Scout is now back on the road hopefully fitter than ever um, so we're good to go on more adventures and fortunately we had a few camps planned um, towards the end of this year or kind of that have just gone um, but with Scout being out of action we weren't able to go and do those so I'm hoping we might be able to squeeze one more night away in before it gets really cold in the tent uh, we'll just have to play it by ear. I know that you guys had said in the comments you like to see some more of those adventures. I've also got to edit, actually, the North Coast 500 video, um, part two, which, again, I know you guys, have a few of you have mentioned um, that I need to get uh, edited. I will look to do that as soon as possible. Um, but I've also got some really exciting plans that I'm going to reveal very soon on the channel too. So as I mentioned, um, some of the exciting plans, we've got a few modifications to do to Scout, and then I've got something really big that I think I've been teasing for a little while in terms of my search for a new Defender. Let's just say that has, uh, that has progressed and we're almost ready to announce um, something which I cannot wait for. But in terms of modifications, the next video, or in a couple of videos time, um, I've got some under sealing treatment to do for Scout. Obviously it's coming towards winter, the road's getting salty, gritty. Um, it's good to ensure that the chassis is in the best um, possible condition. So I've got uh, an under sealing treatment. Um, I've got gone for Lanagard. So I'm gonna document the process of under sealing the Defender, like the DIY job. I think that'll be really cool to bring to the channel. I've had it under sealed professionally before, but I've now seen a few people do it kind of DIY and heard that Lanagard is a great bit of kit. So I'm going to be testing that out, applying it myself, you know, cleaning the whole chassis down and then uh, treating it. So I'll be documenting that in a video really soon. Um, I've also got wheel spacers to fit too. And I know I keep going on and on and about, on about the wheel spacers, but I've just got a jack, a, a better jack for the car so I can jack it up and change it. The only thing I need to do before we do that is order some wheel nuts because I know that um, the wheel nuts kind of as standard can, can swell and grow uh, over time. So make sure I've got a decent set of uh, black wheel nuts to replace the standard ones. And then I'll be fitting the wheel spaces, which I can't wait to film that video too. So that'll be coming shortly. And then finally, I've got the big announcement, the search for the new Project Defender, which has definitely progressed. And I can't wait to reveal the plans um, with that too. Hopefully it won't be too long till I can bring it to the channel. Um, I'm working on a few things behind the scenes, uh, which I can't wait to announce. So um yeah stay tuned for those so there you have it guys that's just a short update a quick video of what's been going on um whilst i've been away and unfortunately not being able to post videos uh, i can't wait to start making more content and hopefully next week i'll be back with another video um with scout a bit more fit and healthier than he, he was before um some modifications like i said like the under ceiling like the wheel spaces and then a potential new project coming to the channel too so it's all exciting and thank you very much for sticking with me whilst I was out for a few weeks trying to uh, make content without a Defender on a Defender channel is obviously really tricky. But I'm hoping now that Scout is back for good and we can continue to work and progress and document my journey with Scout. So with that, hopefully I'll see you in a video really soon. And yeah, thanks for sticking with it. Cheers, guys.